the new Nirvana and Youthberg got some really interesting skills. We're going to start with Youthberg Revo Form Full Blast. So on place by Revo Dress CB1, you perform all of the following effects depending on what Revo Form is in your soul. If you have all three, your front row gets plus 15, which is really big since it doesn't have any restrictions. So if you have a Zest in Soul, it gets a crit, a Gust, you get one drive, and then a Tempest, you get to bot deck one of your opponent's rear guards. So a lot of people were disappointed with this at first, but it received two cards that will help it reach three real rebel forms in Soul. The first one, Witch of Extinguishment for Gosa. On place, on rear, if you have Youth Vanguard, Soul Blast 1, search your deck or drop for up to one card with Revolve form in its name. Put it to soul and shuffle your deck. So that's already one in your soul. Then if you have three or more types of cards with revo form in their card name in your soul, you soul blast one that does not have revo form in name and you'd get to draw one. So soul blast one for draw one, pretty good. And if you revel dress, uh, this unit gets plus 5k. And then the grade one, Bard of Brave Instrument Carino. Although during your turn, on place on rear from deck, or if you discard it from hand, if you have Youth Vanguard, search your deck or drop for up to one card with Revo form in its card name, reveal it and add it to your hand. If you add a card to your hand, choose a card from your hand and put it into Soul. So it's so you get two cards that will help you put Revo dresses in Soul or Revo forms that will help really help the deck. If you're able to achieve the three Revo forms in Soul. I think this is really good just with the 15k to your front row alone and now you also get it also get a crit and a drive so yeah, i think this is really interesting this a uh, new direction for youth Burke. then we're going to the new nirvana blazing holy sword equipped stra virena to cross over dress you need one trick star and two prayer dragons or more with different card names so first skill, count on front row rearguard circle during your turn if it is in the cross dress state. Uh, it gets plus 10k and your Nirvana Vanguard gets 10k and triple drive. So it says get triple drive. So I'm assuming you can use Elementaria for free. <laughs> triple drive is always good in overdress just because it's a card in your hand and uh, it's an extra card in your hand and you have more chance to get triggers or OTs. I think triggers are very strong in overdress or in standard format. Then the other skill, if it stands while it's in the crossover dress state by your vanguard's ability, if your opponent's vanguard is grade 3 or greater, I think this is important that it requires your opponent to be at grade 3 or greater. CB1, stand all of your talisman or prayer dragon rear guard, so all. So you can stand your columns and your boosters. And if this unit as five or more original address, remove all markers from your opponent's rear guard circle and retire all of your opponent's rear guards. So for the last part of the skill where you require five or more original address, I don't think it's going to be used very often because it just takes, it requires you a lot. But the restand though, so you can restand, so the talismans are like your vi other Virenas. So you can stand the, your Virenas. And together with prayer dragons so it gets boosters as well really strong if you're able to pull it off because crossover dress in general requires a lot of cards but i think this will help the deck since before it requires a lot of cards but the payoff is not that big now it has a big payoff if you're able to pull it off nirvana now has jiva now has triple drive and you get five attacks and with guard restricts and such. And with crazy skills you like Mirror Virena, you can counter charge and draw. There are four new prayer dragons, all with Blazing Heavenly in their card name, which is gonna be important. First one, Blazing Heavenly Brick Equipped Dragon called Moda. Cont, this card's outer dress gets on attack. Uh, your unit gets plus 2k for each of your opponent's vanguard greed. So if it's grade 4, it gets 8k at max. So I don't think you're gonna use that. Maybe like a one-off just for the rear dragon. And then second, Blazing Heavenly Spearhead Equipped Dragon, Nandika. Uh, when it becomes original dress, so bless one. 
your outer dress gets during the battle this unit attack if your opponent would call from hand to guidance circle they must call two or more at the same time so it gives your virena's guard restrict requiring two or more which is yeah really good since they reason since they stand and then blazing heavenly slash equip dragon drahas on place if you have vanguard with nirvana's name cb1 retire another rear guard search your deck or drop for up to a total of two cards with blazing heavenly in their card names that have different card names from each other and from this unit call them to rear as rest if you retired a rear guard in the crossover straight for this cost draw one so cb1 and you retire under the rear guard to call two different blazing heavenly so there's not i think uh, it seems like there's not that much plusing here and blazing heavenly render equipped dragon aparagia on place on rear so that's one discard a card from hand search your deck for up to a rare dragon call it to rear and shuffle your decks and see uh here you discard so still no plus and when it becomes original address draw one Choose a one unit in this card's outer dress and it cannot be chosen by opponent's card abilities. Oh, so you get to draw anyways. And yeah, this big, you can... It gives your Virena's resist from being targeted by uh, opponent's card abilities. But but skills like Bob Sagra still work since it doesn't choose. So overall, I think the new card designs are really cool and have really solid power. That's all. Thank you for watching.